Hello, great nights. How are you? Uh, Mr. New Love is here again. Uh, I want us to do corrections for uh, the work that I gave you. Um, we're saying factorize. We said factorize this one. Uh, factorize this x squared minus 3x minus 4 let's see how we are going to do that question that was question number one okay so the first thing we need to do is there is invisible one here so you write that one so it's 1x squared minus 3x minus 4. Then this one will multiply the minus 4. So we are going to get 1 times minus 4, which is going to give you minus 4. Then you find two factors, which when you multiply, you get minus 4. So you start with 1, 2, 3. So let's start with 1. So, negative 4 divided by 1 is going to give us negative 4. Alright, any number divided by 1 will give you the same number. So, we need to check whether we are going to get negative 3 here. This is very important. So, first, let's see 1 minus 4. What does it give you? Negative 3. Let's check on our calculator. 1 minus 4. It gives us negative 3. So it satisfies what we have here. So it means our factors is going to be x because 1 is the same as plus 1. So it's going to be x plus 1. Then x minus 4 so this becomes our factor x plus 1 you write it here then x minus 4 you write it here let's move on to the next question question number 2 we have x minus 7x plus 10 Let's see how we can factorize that one. Okay, this one also. You write 1 in front of that one. So we say 1 times 10. 1 times 10 it gives us 10. And we need two factors which when you multiply, you get 10. This 10. And if you add, you must get minus 7. So you start with 1, 2, so let's start with 1, if you start with 1, 10 divided by 1 will give you 10, so it's the same as 10 times 1, uh, 1 times 10 will give you 10. Let's see whether it's going to give us the middle number here or the middle number here. If you check 1 plus 10, it's going to give us 11. It doesn't satisfy this. If you use negative, negative 1 minus 10 will give us negative 11. Let's check negative 1 minus 10 it gives us negative 11 it doesn't satisfy this why are we using negative negative remember the rule i gave you if the last term is positive it may either be plus plus or minus minus all right so it doesn't satisfy so let's move on to the next one. 
negative 2 and negative 5. How did we get this 5? 10 divided by 2. Let's check. 10 divided by 2. It gives us 5. So here is 5. But remember this is plus. So it can either be plus, plus or minus, minus. So let's start with plus, plus. 2 plus 5 is what? 7. What we have here is negative 7. So we need to check negative, negative also. So negative 2 minus 5 will give us negative 7. Negative 2 minus 5 gives us what? Negative 7. So we have negative 7 at this side. Okay. So it means this one satisfy. So our factors is going to be negative 2 and negative 5. Alright, so negative 2, negative 5. How did we get that one? We got it from here. Negative 2 <coughs> x minus 2 x minus 5. We have that one. <laughs> okay. Then let's move on to the next question. Our next question is x squared minus 7x minus 8. So there is 1 in front here. So 1 times negative 8 will give us negative 8. So our factors 1, 2, 3. Let's first deal with the 1. Negative 8 divided by 1 will give us negative 8. So we need to check whether we get the middle normal here, the middle term here. So first, let's start. 1 minus 8 is minus 7. Alright, let's check with our calculator. 1 minus 8 minus 7 it gives us this one. So it means this two satisfy. Remember, 1 is the same as what? Plus 1. So it means x plus 1, x minus 8. So these are the factors. Let's move on to the next one. Our next one, question number 4. Question number 4 also, we have x squared minus 10x minus 11. How do we find the factors? There is 1 in front here. So we say 1 times negative 11. So 1 times negative 11 to give us negative 11. Then Negative 11 divided by 1 will give us negative 11. We need to check whether we we'll get the middle number here. So 1 minus 11 will give us what? Negative 10. Let's check here. 1 minus 11 it gives us negative 10. So this one satisfies. It satisfies satisfies so we are going to have x plus one remember one is the same as plus one so we are going to have x plus one then x minus 11 okay 
let's move on to the next question question number five question number five what is it going to be so our question number five the number here is one so one times 25 will give us 25 okay so we try one so 25 divided by 1 will give us 25 let's see whether it will give us the middle normal 1 plus 25 is 26 it doesn't give us let's check minus because this is plus so it can either be plus plus or minus minus so let's check here minus 1 minus 25 give us minus 26 it doesn't give us the middle number here all right so let's check two whether two is a factor how do we check it 25 divided by two give us a fraction which gives us a decimal so we can't pick two we want whole numbers we want integers we don't want decimals so 2 is out of the way we can use 2 let's try 3 so we are going to put 3 here mm -mm, it's a fraction we can't use 3 alright so we move on to 4 let's see whether 4 is possible Uh oh 4 is not possible we give us a decimal or a fraction we can't use 4 so we need to use 5 let's use 5 and see mm -mm. 5 is not possible all right now a 5 is possible because it gives us a whole number so 25 divided by 5 gives us what 5 so let's test this one whether it will give us the middle number if we use plus 5 plus 5 is what 10 but what we have here is minus ne? so we have to use minus why are we using minus man because here is plus so we use the same number the same either plus or minus we use the same sign so here we have minus we use minus minus so let's check <coughs> minus 5 minus 5 give us minus 10 we have the one in the middle here it's satisfied so it means this is going to be x minus 5 then x minus 5 okay we are done with question number 5 let's look at question number 6 now question number 6 we have our one here so one times 12 it gives us 12 remember this is plus all right this is plus so the sign is supposed to be the same and this is minus so since this side is minus the sign will be minus minus we need to determine the normal here so let's start with one two three four etc so let's start with one so 12 divided by 1 is what's 12. Let's see whether it's going to give us that one. Since the here is minus, let's put minus here, minus 1, minus 12. What does it give you? Minus 13. 
it doesn't satisfy satisfy this so we can't use that one it's not possible then let's use this one also 2 and 6 how did you get 2 and 6 12 divided by 2 is what 6 let's check on the calculator 12 divided by 2 is 6 ne? but because here is minus let's put minus here and check and see whether it will give us minus 7 minus 2 because you are a new creator minus 2 minus 6 it gives us minus 8 mm -mm. it's not possible let's move on to 3 now 12 divided by 3 12 divided by 3 gives us what four we are going to check whether it will give us the middle number the middle number is minus né? so minus minus so minus three minus four what does it give you minus seven let's cross check minus three minus four minus seven does it satisfy that one yes it's satisfied so we are going to use this one so we have x minus 3 then x minus 4 we are done with that one all right okay so I wish you all the best. Bye.